Hello, my dear friends. I am Dr. Shailesh Palekar, working as an associate professor in the Department of Mechanical Engineering, Sanjeevni College of Engineering, Kopparwal. <coughs> in this video lecture, we will derive the shape functions by using Lagrangian polynomial. This is the fourth method of deriving, third method of deriving the shape functions. Previously, in the previous videos, we have seen, uh, we have used the two methods of deriving the shape functions. The first one is polynomial and second one is natural quadrate method. In this third method, we will use the Lagrangian polynomial to, do, to derive the shape functions of various elements. So, <coughs> if only continuity of basic unknowns is to be satisfied, Lagrangian polynomial can be used to derive shape functions. Lagrangian polynomial in one dimension can be defined as or defined by this formula <coughs> nk, n suffix k is equal to multiplication of m is equal to 1 to n where m should not be equal to k is the multiplication of xi minus xi m upon xi k minus xi m or if we want to derive the shape function in terms of Cartesian coordinates then the formula can be written as x minus x m upon x k minus x m where this m should not be equals to k. n k is what if I want to find the shape function of first node then or first shape function that is n1 then the value of m should start from 2 or 3 like that up to the number of nodes which are there in the element and the same Lagrangian polynomial if uh, is applied when two dimensional elements are there it can be written as nk is equals to multiplication of m is equals to 1 to n where m should not be equals to k. The formula is xi minus xi m upon xi k minus xi m into nu minus nu m upon n k minus nu m, nu k minus nu m. Okay. So, uh, don't be confused. When we apply this formula to any element, that time automatically you will understand what are these things are. Means why m is not equals to k, m is equals to 1 to n, what is the meaning of all these terms that you will definitely understand in the uh, applications of this formula. Now, it has been shown that in the preceding methods that one has to uh, re re report uh, to matrix inversion <coughs> to derive shape functions, n i. Such a process can be quite cumbersome for higher order polynomials. Same functions can be derived by using Lagrangian polynomial easily for any order. Right? So, this formula, why this formula we have to use to derive the shape function? Because it can avoid certain computational efforts that are required in the previous methods. In those methods, we require to carry out the inverse of the matrix which is a cumbersome process. So, uh, it's okay if we have only four nodes, two nodes like that. The, the matrix will be of four by four like that. So, up to four by four matrix inversion, it's quite easy to carry out. But if the matrix comes with six by six, eight by eight like that, that time it will be definitely uh, difficult to derive the shape functions. This method is a very simple method to get the shape functions of any order. That's why this method is advantageously used in FEA to get the shape functions. In above equation, k is the number of node for which shape function is to be derived. n is the order of polynomial chosen for the shape functions like first order, second order, like that with number of nodes. m is the n plus 1, right? So that uh, that time itself I have told you that n is, m is nothing but n plus 1, but it should not be equal to k. That is the node for which we are deriving the shape function. Okay, so uh, we will come to this point once again when we solve one numerical. One way, uh, one element. 
Okay, so see my dear friends, this is one example or uh, where we will derive the shape functions of this four noded rectangular element by using Lagrangian formula. Directly we will use this element because uh, here we have two uh, dimensions that is xi coordinates are required. So when we solve this then it will be more easy for you to apply this method to 1D elements. So see let us consider a four noded rectangular element with natural coordinates xi having origin at the center of the element. In the previous lecture, in the previous video, you have uh, we have discussed that when we will we use the Zynu coordinates, that time the origin of this coordinate system should be at center of the at the center of the element, and the values of these Zynu coordinates will vary are varying from minus one to plus one. So with this, I can easily you can easily understand for node one the value of Zy nu, which are Zy one and nu one, will be minus one minus one. At node 2, the values of xi nu are 1 minus 1. At node 3, the values of xi nu are 1 comma 1. And at node 4, the values of xi nu are minus 1 and 1 respectively. Now, I want to find the shape function for node 1, which can be given as n1 is equal to some uh, multiplication of m is equal to 1 to n, where m should not be equal to k, that is equal to 1. Right? And now, what we need to do in this method when we apply this method is when I use xi that time I have to move along xi axis only and I have to move right and left to see which nodes which node is there. So in uh, in the left side of node 1 we don't have any node but on right side that is along z axis uh, sorry along xi axis positive xi axis we have node 2. So, as we have restriction that m should not be equal to k and should not be equal to 1. Now, our k's value is 1. So, as we have this formula, xi minus xi m upon xi k minus xi m. So, m should not be equal to 1 plus it is equal to n plus 1. So, xi minus xi 2 upon xi k, k's value is 1. So, xi 1 minus xi 2, like that. Similarly, uh, here I have done, see, <coughs> xi minus xi m upon xi 1 minus xi m, where k is equal to 1. Similarly, for nu also it is applicable. Now, nu is our y axis. So, we have to move along y axis above and below the node 1. So below the node 1, there is no any node present. Above the node 1, we have node 4 and is having nu coordinate as 1, right? Mu's value is 1. So, see, we can write the formula, Lagrangian formula for this nu minus nu m upon nu 1 y k is equal to 1. So, I am finding the value of n 1, therefore, the n k, nu k is nu 1, nu 1 minus nu m. Now, the m's value will be the value of the node which is along xi axis or nu axis. When we use xi, then we will, use, uh, we will see the we will observe the xi axis only and when we are moving along nu axis that time we will see the uh, we will use the value of nu along that axis only. So see n1 can be written as xi minus xi2. Why xi2? Because along xi axis we have only one node that is 2. Right? So xi2 value should be used. See upon xi1 that is xi k minus xi2, right, xi1 minus xi2, multiplied by nu minus nu4, right, because along nu axis or along y axis we have nu coordinate and uh, along that we have only one node that is node 4, so we can write nu minus nu4 upon nu1 minus nu4, why nu1, because we are finding the shape function of node 1, so nu k, instead of nu k we will use nu1, minus nu m was there in the previous formula here, but the fourth node is there above the node 1. So, the or on that axis we can say. So, nu 4. So, similarly, now what we will do, we will put the values of this xi 2, xi 1, nu 4, nu 1 like that. So, as we know, the value of xi 2 is how much? 1, positive 1. So, xi minus xi 2, so xi minus 1. 
upon the value of xi1 is minus 1 the value of xi1 is minus 1 and xi2 uh, is plus 1 so as we have xi1 minus xi2 so the value of xi1 is minus 1 minus xi2 which is positive 1 so minus minus 1 so minus 1 minus 1 multiplied by nu minus nu 4 the value of nu 4 is positive 1 and value of nu 1 is minus 1 so remember this and use the values here so we get nu minus 1 because the value of nu 4 is plus 1 so nu minus 1 and the value of nu 1 is minus 1 and value of nu 4 is plus 1 so minus 1 minus 1 now carry out the multiplication so minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 here also minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 so minus mi minus 2 multiplied by minus 2 we get positive sign so 1 by 4 in the bracket xi1 into nu minus 1 sorry xi minus 1 into nu minus 1 so this is the first shape function which is equal to 1 upon 4 in the bracket 1 minus psi into 1 minus nu. Okay. Similarly, we can find the shape function for node 2 that is n2. Now the k becomes k is equal to 2 and now we will apply the formula. So if I we will go back to that figure. Now I am interested to find the shape function of node 2. As I have told when we have solved for node 1. Now for node 2, what we need to do? We have to move along xi axis in right side as well as left side of the element node. So along its right hand side, we have node 1. But along its right hand side, we don't have any node. So the relation will be formed between these two nodes. Now when we see along new axis that is y axis we can say that time we have to move above and below this node 2 so above this node 2 we have node 3 we will use the corresponding value of new for this node 3 and below this node 2 we don't have any node so the relation will be formed for new axis as between the two second and third node right so with this and uh, again the values of xi and nu coordinates of these nodes are for node 1 we have the value of nu uh, xi and nu as minus 1 minus 1 the value of uh, xi and nu coordinates for node 2 is 1 and minus 1 and for node 3 the value of xi and nu coordinates is 1 plus 1 and 1 so n2 can be written as xi minus xi1 upon xi2 minus xi1 into nu minus nu3 upon nu2 minus nu3 right because along the axis the node 1 is there and along new axis node 3 is there for node 2 right so we will use those values only or the corresponding values now we can write as we know the value of xi1 is minus 1 so xi plus 1 we can write here upon xi2 the value of xi2 is plus 1 and value of xi1 is minus 1 so 1 plus 1 into nu minus nu3 is there but the value of nu3 is plus 1 so nu minus 1 upon nu2 minus nu3 the value of nu2 is minus 1 and the value of nu3 is plus 1 so minus 1 minus 1 again we came up with 1 upon 4 multiplied by 1 plus xi into 1 minus nu right so n2 the second shape function for this element is 1 upon 4 into 1 plus xi into 1 minus nu similarly for n3 let us go back to the figure now i want to find the shape function for node 3 now again we have to move along xi axis and nu axis for node 3 now when we move along xi axis for node 3 on its right hand side we have node number 4 and along its uh, sorry i am sorry along its left hand side we have node number 4 and along its um, right hand side we don't have any node so there will be relation between node number 4 and 3 when we want to find the shape function for node 3 along xi axis when we move along new axis that is y axis vertical axis we can say that time above node number 3 we don't have any node but in uh, in downward direction we have node 2 so when we want to find 
the we, we want to derive the relation between its new coordinate at that time only second node has to be taken into consideration okay so likewise for node 3 the n3 can be written as xi minus xi4 upon xi3 minus xi4 right because along its xi axis only fourth node is there so we will get the relation between these two nodes that is third and fourth node that is xi minus xi4 upon xi3 minus xi4 into when we move along new axis that time for node 3 only node 2 which is below it that will come into picture so new minus new 2 upon new 3 minus new 2 this relation can be written like this by applying Lagrangian polynomial now as we know xi minus xi4 the value of xi4 is minus 1 right see xi4 minus 1 okay so that value I will place here <coughs> xi plus 1 upon xi 3 which is how much plus 1 so 1 and the value of xi 4 is minus 1 so minus minus plus so we get 1 plus 1 so xi plus 1 upon 1 plus 1 into nu minus nu 2 the value of nu 2 is minus 1 so nu minus minus 1 so nu plus 1 we get upon nu3 the value of nu3 is plus 1 minus nu2 the value of nu2 is minus 1 so minus minus get plus so 1 plus 1 so ultimately we get the value 1 upon 4 in the bracket 1 plus i multiplied by the bracket 1 plus nu right so this will be our third shape function similarly we can get the value for fourth shape function that is n4 this is for node 4 now we again come to this figure see for node 4 again we have to move along its xi axis now you can easily observe that for node 4 along its xi axis only node 3 is there on right hand side but on left hand side there is no any node now for node 4 if we move above, along its new axis that is y axis or vertical axis we can see above node 4 there is no any node but below node 4 we have node number 1 right so we will use the new coordinates of these two nodes and the high coordinates of node 4 and 3 right so with this we can derive n4 we can write the Lagrangian polynomial for n4 as xi minus xi3 upon xi4 minus xi3 multiplied by nu minus nu1 upon nu4 minus nu right because along xi axis only node number 3 is there and along new axis that is vertical axis we have node number 1 so we can formulate the relation between them <coughs> so xi minus xi3 the first term so xi3 is value is c minus 1 sorry plus 1 right so that's what we have kept over here so minus xi uh, minus 1 upon xi4 the value of xi4 is minus 1 and value of xi3 is plus 1 so minus 1 minus minus right so minus 1 minus 1 becomes minus 2 multiplied by nu plus sorry nu minus nu 1 so the value of nu 1 is minus 1 so nu minus multiplied by minus 1 so plus 1 we get nu plus 1 upon nu 4 the value of nu 4 is plus 1 minus nu1 the value of nu1 is minus 1 so minus minus get plus so we get 1 plus 1 so so my dear friends we get 1 upon 4 multiplied by 1 minus i into 1 plus u so these are what the required shape functions right so th this way my dear friends we can apply the Lagrangian polynomial to derive the shape functions here we have solved the we have derived the shape functions for four noded rectangular element. Thank you.